This is the PT4SX offline software installation video for the USB option and Windows XP. Before we get started, do not insert that purple or black USB key until we install the drivers here in a little bit. You can, however, insert your CD into the CD-ROM drive. And now from the desktop, click Start, go to My Computer, and find your CD-ROM drive and double-click it. We're looking for this file SXOL40, so go ahead and double-click that. Now in this screen, click the Unzip button in the upper right corner. So now we're actually installing the files onto our computer. So we're going to wait for it to finish. It'll just be a few seconds. There it goes. Hit OK. Now we can close out of this screen. And we can close out of this screen as well. So back on our desktop, go back down to Start, into My Computer. We're looking for the C drive, so go ahead and double click it. Open up the PT4SX folder. This is the folder we just created. And find the PT4SX executable file and right click it. Hit Send To and click Desktop. What we just did is created a shortcut for our offline software program right on our desktop so we can go into it whenever we want. But we're not done, so go back down to Start. My computer, click on the CD-ROM drive again. This time we're looking for the Sentinel Protection Installer. These are the, actually the drivers that are going to run that purple USB key. So go ahead and double click them. Wait for just a moment. Now click Next. Then in this screen, click You Accept the License Agreement. You purchase the software, so of course you have the license. Click Next again. Make sure Complete Installation is selected. Go back down and click Next, and click Install. Here it's telling you it's going to modify some of your computer settings. Well, that's OK. So hit Yes, and it's on its way. Now again, it's important to mention that you want to do this step before inserting that USB key. So here it's done. Click Finish. Now at this point, it should tell you that you need to restart your computer before the changes will take place. But if it doesn't, you still have to restart your computer. So go down to Start, Turn Off Computer, and you can either go Turn Off or Restart. So here we are after the computer has rebooted. Now we can finally insert that USB key into the back of our computers. Here we are back on the desktop. And your computer is actually going to find that USB key all by itself. So the rest of the installation will happen automatically. It'll tell you when it's completely installed. And we're done. We are going to make sure though, so click on the shortcut we made earlier and go into the offline, click Check System, go into Program In and Out, and hit the Save button. And what we're looking for in particular is the Save File button to make sure it's black. If it's kind of a light gray, that means we did something wrong. But since it's black, that means we can save files and we've done everything right. That's it. We are done. But if you are ever in need of assistance, please call our service department at one 800 367-3165.